Hello everyone, welcome back to Coffee with Kem and Hills. It is Wednesday. Oh, we're halfway there. Right? Yep, you know it. Yeah, it's the theme song of the day. <laughs> <laughs> How was your morning? It was great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, later on, we, well, fun fact, we have some fun coffee in our cups right now, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're jacked up on something extra <laughs> fun today. Extra special. Yeah. <laughs> so really excited about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, morning's been good. It's just been a busy one. Yeah, always. Mm -hmm. I feel like every morning is just like chaos. <laughs> it really is. It's just yeah. chaos. Like once you have kids, it's just... <laughs> never ending chaos <laughs> it's true i always thought getting out of the house just myself was hard and yeah, then seriously yeah now these days i'm like oh oh my gosh it's much easier. i know i look back on how many years i was rolling out of bed at 11 or 12 like <laughs> so many years because i always worked mm. at night you know yeah i guess that makes sense yeah, yeah. so maybe that's not a normal thing for <laughs> a woman in her 30s but like that was that was like what i was doing yeah. and 20s and yeah. there you, you go know, late, yeah so I miss it, okay? <laughs> it's okay to miss it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Um, all right, we've got some, well, we've got a really good hot topic mm -hmm. to dive into, but we also are gonna be talking about a really great episode of The Business Of. Yep. Which I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of know what's going on, but you know, I'm excited to share it with you all. So we're very excited to hear about your episode of The Business Of. Mm -hmm. It's a really good one. Mm -hmm. And it'll explain what we're drinking as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be good too. Um, and it's also Healthy Wealthy Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We need to get like a little jingle that goes along with that, I think. <laughs> so if you have a jingle, jingle yeah, let us know. Not my forte, so. <laughs> yeah, not mine either. <laughs> but I will remember them for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Same. Yeah, I mean, Same. those jingle writers. <laughs> They know what they're doing. They, they do. Oh, ooh, that would be a good one for the business of. Ooh. We have to find a jingle writer. I like that. Mm. 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 We're going to find you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's get started with hot topics. Speaking, Speaking of jingles. Of jingles. <laughs> 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 oh, anyway. <laughs> okay, this is from the Wall Street Journal. Looking for a hundred thousand dollars salary? Mm. See how much the biggest U.S. companies pay workers. So, in the tight job market, the tight job market is helping to lift paydays for many bank tellers, factory workers, and software program programmers, among others. Mm -hmm. According to this article, I mean, yes, there's a broad range. There is a very broad range, which is very interesting. Yeah, but depending on what you're looking for, I mean, it's all looking up compared to what it was. You know. <laughs> Not that long ago. It's true. I mean, I think that is the interesting thing is that majority of mm -hmm. wages have gone up mm -hmm. both on the lower spectrum. Right. Um, you know, the Walmarts, the um, Home Depots, a lot of people who are paying an hourly wage these days yep. have had to increase it because of the tight labor market, yep. um, as well as people who are in the tech sector who are also high in demand and yes. can demand top dollar so yeah. amazon is raising its cap on the base pay from well this is crazy this is kind of exciting <laughs> if you're working for amazon from 160,000 to 350,000 oh that's, that's a crazy. leap that's, that's a leap it was a big <laughs> leap and it was interesting the way the journal did this article mm -hmm. is that they looked at 450 companies who all report in this information. And so they have their own analysis and it's like based on the median worker, which definitely depends on the company, right? Like, yeah. So the Walmarts where most of the media, like the median worker is probably an hourly worker right. in a store right? versus the Amazons where they probably have more yeah. workers who are in tech right which is why the so it's, wage it's, is so it, much higher right exactly but apple is raising its minimum hourly wage to 22 dollars hey mm -hmm. and then starbucks i thought well they're a little more tight okay <laughs> they promise raises for at least five percent of baristas who have worked there for two years or more okay. so let me understand this it's five percent of those who have worked there for i mean is are they is it like are you drawing straws <laughs> <laughs> or is it a five percent raise oh oh yeah <laughs> 
I've heard that but steroids wait. has pretty good benefits, though. They so, do. They have, they have healthcare. Um, they have. I mean, depending on if you're probably full time or yeah. not. Um, so always have to. That is also part of a compensation package. Yeah, to I have, take a, into I have a friend who started working there when we were in our early twenties. And they didn't want to leave because of the benefits. It was the benefits were so good. They're like, I don't know. I like can't find anything else that's like comparable to this. This is really good. Well, there you go. Yeah. So I don't know. Starbucks. Okay, you have your perks, but you are raising your prices swiftly, as we've it's learned true. in other articles. It's true. And like we want our Starbucks coffee, okay, without an added fifty cents. <laughs> Um, so one of the other things they, they say is that um, 12 of the top 25 were in tech, the top companies with the best paid workers. Okay. Yep. Which, again, not surprising. <clears throat> not surprising. Well, there's a lot of us that can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Alphabet's median um, worker salary was $295,000. Wow. That's a median. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alphabet being Google's parent company. Okay. Yeah. Um, which was up 8% from 2020. So right. not as big of a raise as yeah. some of the other companies on there because they were already pretty well compensated, right. it sounds like. Right. So Fortinet, median workers had a pay of 203000 up from 122000 in 2019. I mean, so Fortinet, for people who might not be aware, is a cybersecurity company. Yes. So a lot of tech workers. More tech. And cybersecurity being such an important thing these days. Yeah, seriously, yeah. As everything is online and people are all remote and right. all that jazz. So right. no surprise that they saw such a huge rise in their wages. But yeah. good for you guys. I know. I know. So some people are really kind of making out on this mm -hmm. uh, otherwise unfortunate financial time in our lives. <laughs> Was interesting though, Delta actually saw a decrease in their median worker salary. Uh -huh. um, they're now at $70,000, whereas pre-pandemic it was $118,000. One of the reasons for that being that they've hired over 11,000 new people, which typically means that right. they're starting at a lower pace. Yes, there's um, a reason Which is 13% of their workers are new. Wow. So that's where a, that huge discrepancy that C has come from. Interesting. Yep. Hmm. So interesting, interesting, interesting. All these interesting facts. <laughs> <laughs> On Coffee with Kevin Hills. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but we will be right back to talk about the business of and Healthy Wealthy Wednesday. We'll see you soon. Welcome back, everyone. All right. It's that that time of the week. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it is Healthy Wealthy Wednesday. Please, Hillary, help us with our financial wellness. So this week's financial wellness tip is to prepare for life events mm -hmm. and large purchases by planning ahead. Okay. So we've talked about a lot of different things in terms of tracking your money, budgeting your money, mm -hmm. um, automating your savings, Yep. Giving your savings account a name specifically for what you're saving it for. So having a couple different savings accounts, depending on what right. you're actually saving for. Mm -hmm. This kind of lines up all with that in the fact that you're looking ahead to your life. Maybe you are having a kid. So you open up a 529 plans to start saving for their college. Mm -hmm. If that's the right option for you. Right. Maybe you are, you know, want to get married one day and mm -hmm. you're going to pay for your own wedding mm -hmm. or you just want to go on a blockbuster trip and you are right. planning for that. Yeah. So just putting some money aside so that when things, these things come up in your life, you already have the money there. You're prepared for you're it. Prepared. And you're not scrambling to say, mm -hmm. how am I going to send you to college? Right. And you Cause there's those inevitables, of course, right? right? The big things that will come up eventually that are inevitables. But then there's also like, you know, Leisure. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, it's what you, maybe there's a car you want or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, um, formulating a plan so that you can actually make those goals attainable and reach them. Exactly. I like it. We are, I feel financially well all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hopefully removing that financial stress that comes from not having prepared. Yeah, exactly. It's all about preparedness mm -hmm. of money. Yep. It's true. It's not my forte, but I'm learning. <laughs> we all are. Yes, we are all learning. Um, so 
Moving on, mm -hmm. please tell us about today's episode of the business of. So, on today's episode of the business of, we are talking with April Wachtel, who is the founder of Cheeky Cocktails, and she is going to take it away from here. Today on the business of, we have April Wachtel from Cheeky Cocktails, and we are going to be talking about the business of craft cocktails. So tell us a little bit about Cheeky Cocktails. Yes. So Cheeky is a line of bar quality syrups and juices for the home and bar. And we are Brooklyn based. We launched in 2020 and we really make, I mean, very delicious, very you know premium syrups and juices for the home and bar. So it's really supposed to just be empowering um, for any home bartender who's interested in making um, their own craft cocktails or if you're in the bar and you don't want to be spending hours on prep every single day, it's a great solution for that as well. And you have an espresso martini syrup, yes. which can also be used to just make coffee. Yes, exactly, exactly. So I think we're gonna do that today, which I'm very excited yes, about. Yes, <laughs> as am I. So the espresso syrup, it's a super special syrup. It's made from cold brew concentrate sourced from Cafe Integral, a local roaster in Brooklyn, New York. They source single origin beans from Nicaragua. So it's that, cane sugar, and then gum arabic, which is a natural emulsifier. So just meaning it adds like some really lovely texture and body. And so it's gonna be delicious in this application and also obviously mixed with spirits. Lovely. So before we do that, tell me about your favorite cocktail to make and also drink. Yes. So, I mean, not just because it's in front of us. I, I love the espresso martini. I also, there's another uh, cocktail that I make with this, which is called a revolver. It's a stirred mm -hmm. cocktail, not a shaken cocktail. It is, it's made with whiskey of your choice or espresso syrup. And then optionally, you can add a dash of orange bitters or nothing, but you just stir it one large, one large cube. And then you take an orange peel and then you uh, express the oils from the orange peel over the surface of the cocktail. So you get that lovely aroma into the drink and it's just amazing texture and body, not too sweet at all, which uh, you know a lot of people don't want overly sweet cocktails. And it's got that really lovely interplay between the orange and the espresso flavor. So Ooh. really delicious, highly recommended. I'm gonna have to try that one. Yeah. I have never heard of that one yes. before, but I love whiskey and I love coffee. So yes. that sounds amazing. Yes, <laughs> it is so good. You will love it, I can promise you. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and try the espresso yes. syrup. So I'm happy to make it for you, or you are welcome to make sure. some yourself, whichever. You might have a better eye on pouring it. Apparently okay. this stuff is pretty, pretty potent, potent yes. which is great. Pretty potent. <laughs> we are just going to do um, roughly, we'll do maybe like a two ounce pour in here. Um, this is probably going to be about two, uh, two, co uh, two um, coffees worth. Mm. So there's um, that. Um, you wanted ice, I know, in yes, yours. Yes, I'm going to so put a couple that. cubes of ice. But I think again, the beauty of this and also the beauty of, you know, of any, um, any of our products is that it's really, they're designed to just sort of mix and match and add however much you want to, to get the flavor that you want to. And so I was a cocktail instructor for many years. I've taught thousands of students how to make cocktails. And what I wanted to do was make products that just took all the work out of it, but maintain the fun piece of it. So taste it, obviously, if it doesn't taste like what you want, Obviously, you know, feel free to add either more of the espresso syrup or more milk or more ice. But that's the that's the intention. That's the plan. Oh, this is delicious. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fave of mine. I might not go back to my other coffee. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> this is also super easy. Yeah. And so the other fun thing, too, is if you're, you know, a sort of like latte art type person mm -hmm. or you just like a really foamy texture, you can also foam this up with, mm, again, with like one of those little latte frother. cappuccino yeah. frothers. Yeah, cool. As well. Yes, I so. have one of those. And I'm always very sad when like the froth just like dissipates yeah. before you actually get to drink it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll, again, it'll stick around um, more with this because of that texturizing element. So. That makes sense. Yeah. Awesome. Well, cheers. cheers. Well, come watch the business of with April and craft cocktails today. Welcome back everyone. This is just your friendly reminder not to miss today's episodes of Estate Planning 101, The Blockchain Interviews, The Business Of, and Root Financial, our newest show on ROI TV. Mm -hmm. And you can catch all of these episodes where? On Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, or on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android.
That's right. There's no excuses, basically. Mm -hmm. No, none. (laughs) Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Coffee with Kemen Hills. We will see you tomorrow with another big old cup of coffee.